The incident that changed the history of the sport and changed the life of a young girl. No one ever thought that pursuing passion could result in something so deadly and dangerous. But here we are with the story of Yelena Mukina. Like the girl who was paralyzed for the rest of her life just because of one wrong move in the game. You want to know how it all happened? Let's get started. Mukina was born on June 1, 1960 and was orphaned at the age of five when her mother died due to an apartment fire. She was raised by her grandmother. Gymnastics has always fascinated the little girl, so she joined the CSKA Sports Club and started practicing the game. Until 1974, she appeared to be an unremarkable gymnast with only minor accomplishments. All of that changed when she joined forces with coach Mikhail Klimenko, who had previously worked with the men's team. By firmly mastering techniques and elements borrowed from men's gymnastics, Klimenko transferred Mukina into one of the Soviet team's most promising athletes. She won the Soviet junior all-round title in 1976, but after finishing 12th at the national championships, she was unable to make the Olympic squad that competed in Montreal. She kept doing the hard work and rose to fame in 1977 during the European Championships, where she won silver in the all-round finals. Mukina won three individual titles at the same championships on the uneven bars, ballet beam, and floor exercise, impressing the judges with the difficulty of her unique routines. She made competition history by performing her revolutionary signature elements, including a full twisting layout Corbett flip on the bars and a double back dismount on the beam. Summer Olympics in 1980. With all the hard work and amazing performances, Yelena Mukina established herself as an incredible athlete. She got to the 1980 Summer Olympics, but her practice was hampered by a leg injury, due to which she couldn't enter the pre-Olympic World Championship. She returned to training before her broken leg had completely healed to avoid wasting time before the 1980 Summer Games, where she was expected to shine. Mukina later admitted in a rare interview that she had been transferred to the Central Institute of Traumatology and Orthopedics and taken to the gym, where her coach removed her cast and pressed her to train. They took an x-ray and it was discovered that the bones had separated. Right after lunch, I was on the operating table. In a 1998 interview, she explained, My coach came the next day and said I wasn't conscious and that I could train in a cast. This was probably the first thing that had gone bad for her. If she'd taken rest and allowed herself to heal completely, maybe she would have had a different life. But fate had decided something else for her. Moscow Olympics so, the day came where her life was changed forever. July 3rd, 1980, exactly two weeks before the Moscow Olympics. Klimenko had left the training camp in Minsk for a few days, leaving the gymnast with other national team trainers. Mukina attempted a new tumbling move, the Thomas Salto, which had previously only been performed by men on the floor. She landed on her chin after under-rotating the somersault and crunching her cervical vertebrae, which never knitted again. She was just 20 years old when she was paralyzed for the rest of her life in a tragic accident. This was the moment when the history of gymnastics was also changed. Mukina was forced to use a wheelchair and later stated that the disastrous accident was unavoidable given the conditions she was forced to train in. The former gymnast died in her Moscow apartment in December of 2006, leaving a legacy of both triumph and tragic. Mukina, the embodiment of elegance and strength, sacrificed her life and health in an attempt to win an Olympic medal for her country. Her tragic story, which stunned the gymnastics world, is a sad reminder of the price top-level athletes can sometimes pay in their bid to reach the pinnacle of their sport. So this was all from the video. Share your thoughts about her life story in the comments below.